What's up everyone, welcome to Ben's Car Reviews. I'm Ben and today we'll be dissecting the 2025 Toyota Crown Signia. Let's get right into it. 2023 brought back the Crown name in Toyota's lineup, which ended a 51 year gap in having that name, which is Toyota's longest running nameplate. Now the name is expanding with the Crown Signia, and there's a lot to love for this too. Let's go through everything Toyota has released so far. It's a five-seater, mid-size SUV, so it falls in larger than the RAV4, smaller than the Highlander. Toyota says the hybrid powertrain produces 243 net combined system horsepower from two electric motors, and that two electric motors means all-wheel drive will be standard, which I always love to see in an SUV. I just think it's needed. It's necessary. You've got to have that these days for these prices. All-wheel drive's got to be standard. Granted, some people say they don't need it, but... All-wheel drive is just there to help you when you need it. Um, it's not going to be a knock, really, if you have it and you don't need it. But there's also a manufacturer estimated 36 MPG combined rating with this. This thing is also going to be able to tow 2,700 pounds. Drive modes will be normal, sport, eco, and EV. Toyota says sport mode improves the sh and sharpens the throttle response. Eco mode changes the throttle an environmental logic to help the driver focus on maximizing mileage from the fuel and battery, while normal mode is for that everyday use. EV mode allows for electric only driving at low speeds for short distances. Uh, this is pretty common on these hybrids and definitely cool touch. Uh, we're going to have XLE and limited trims will, will be for this model. The limited trim is shown for now on their website and the storm cloud gray. Uh, is that color you're seeing primarily as well. Other color options will be finish line red, oxygen white, black, and bronze age. So definitely some cool colors. Toyota always does a great job with those. For wheels, you'll get 21 inch dark gray metallic colored alloy wheels on the limited and black accented 19 inch multi-spoke machined finished two-tone alloy wheels on the XLE. The limited design is what we can see so far and that at least looks phenomenal definitely a cool design here with a lot of detail uh, to catch your eye i'm a big fan of the light fixtures here as well the headlights are resembling that new look line up perfectly and the taillights certainly are paying some homage to the outgoing venza uh, which is what this is replacing and i'm super glad to see that because i was so sad to see that venza design going away definitely one of the most underrated designs out there and if you're still looking to get a venza i'll attach the video for that at the end of this review for the 2024 Safe to assume standard LEDs are going to be in these fixtures all around too. And seems to be another setup these days where the daytime running lights are in a separate area from the low beams. Actually, you know, above them, not in the same uh, fixture of the headlight. This has one of the coolest grills I've ever seen. Toyota is calling it the Hammerhead Grill. It's certainly resembling the new look Lexus models. Of course, and I love how the intake areas blend into nothing almost. Definitely a unique look, uh, different from the norm. Toyota somehow manages to always upgrade their designs and lead the pack in terms of modern looks. There's a hands-free liftgate available, and power liftgate is standard at least. This is going to be hitting the dealers in dealer lots in summer of 2024, says Toyota. And based on sources I've seen, prices will fall plus or minus 50000 Real quick, guys, here are Ben's car reviews. I try to be most accurate and relevant information under 10 minutes. There's no misleading and no waste of time. If that's something that's intriguing to you and like this content as you watch, please like and subscribe so you can see your girl's channel. Let's keep going. The initial impression of this new Crown Signia interior is pretty good. Looks like a fairly run of the mill design, but that isn't a bad thing. It's super clean looking, and there's enough minute details to elevate it uh, quite a bit. There's going to be a 12.3 inch infotainment screen, standard, uh, as the standard setup, and it looks great in this interior, I think. Not too big, uh, not too small, kind of just right. Wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto capability. I'm not seeing a size for the driver's information cluster, but by looking at it and by knowing what all these other interiors tend to be doing these days, I wouldn't be surprised if it's also a 12.3 inch setup. It seems to be every manufacturer's favorite screen size number. XLE is going to get a six-speaker audio system. Limited will have an 11-speaker JBL premium audio system. A nice interior color is called Saddle Tan. That's what they're showing in these limited pictures. They say black will also be offered. Both colors will be offered on both trims also. 
Limited will have a standard digital rearview mirror, which is great. You got stuff piled high in your back seat. You'll still be able to see out the back as that's fed from a camera. The Limited will have a smooth, high quality leather trim seat with double stitching, quilted, and fillet piping. XLE has a combination of fabric and soft hex trim seats. There's going to be standard eight way driver and eight way passenger power seats. Limited has memory settings as well. There will be available heated and ventilated front seats. Seeing this not say the Limited has them makes me question that a little bit. Will that be standard on the Limited? But uh, it better be, given it's the top trim, at least heated. Limited has an available panoramic glass roof. Toyota says there will be bronze finished trim and color matched soft touch panels on the doors and dashboard. A vertical wireless charger and three USB-C ports are standard up front. This will have a quiet cabin with fold flat second row and a 6.5 foot long cargo area. So definitely some space in here for luggage, stuff like that. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 is standard for the model. Overall, I think this will be a pretty stacked interior for the money. Only two trims bodes well for the buyer to get more for their money. And I'm looking forward to see those final details. Interview guys, if you're in the market for a vehicle just like this heading into 2025, uh, you know, maybe these 2024 models weren't quite cutting it, uh, or you just didn't like the design of any of them. Uh, as much as you're liking the looks of this Crown Signia, and I don't blame you because it looks really sharp. Maybe you like the look of the Venza. You're bummed out you couldn't get one next year because you were ready to. This is a pretty good, uh, you know, next step in the lineup for Toyota to get into that Venza sort of look. But uh, I'm sure if a Venza actually had a redesign to match the rest of their fleet, it would pretty much look like this. I can't imagine it would be too much different. Like I said, it has those taillights, and the front end is matching the new look lineup for Toyota. So probably would have been really what this looks like. For all we know, they just redesigned the Venza and named it the Crown Signia, going off that name. But the Crown has gotten a lot of attention for being a lot of value for your money. Um, and I have a video for that, which I'll put at the end of this one if you want to check that out. Um, Toyota, obviously we know Toyota, great reputation, gets the business done time after time. Uh, this Crown Signia should be no different. Uh, certainly stylish. I'm definitely curious to see what these price points are going to be, just how much you're getting for the money. But I got to imagine, like I said, two trims, that definitely is in your favor for getting a lot because there's nothing much to work off from. Uh, as long as they don't make it so the Limited only has so many standard features and everything's available on either trim, hopefully they don't do it like that. But we'll see when the time comes. Hopefully this video will lay things out a clear way for you guys. Thank you for watching this Ben's Car Review. Please subscribe if not already. You're going to do for a future review. Drop in the comments and I'll see what I can do. If you'd like to become a member of the channel, I have that option now. Check that out and join if you'd like. I'll catch you on the next Ben's Car Review. <laughs>